Hi and welcome to this week's video. On this week's video we do quite a lot of varied jobs. Um, as you can see I'm still not allowed on the sofa in my scruff. You uh, never will be. <laughs> so anyway, um, we've done some work on the raised beds and uh, done a bit of planting and also put some seeds in the propagators. Uh, we've also trimmed the olive trees and uh, I've made an Easter tree which I'm going to show you how I did it on the video and I've also done some real simple Easter baking. So come along and see what we do the rest of the time. So as you've probably seen we uh, planted some uh, peas uh, a couple of weeks ago in the raised bed and I'm just going to make a frame for it out of some uh, cherry tree branches which we cut quite a while ago um, but I thought they'd come in handy for something because they were quite long and straight I'll show you a couple of them so it was these black branches and they're in the bed where the peas are. I haven't seen any sign of the peas coming up yet um, but just to be ready for them when they do uh, yeah I want to build a frame so they can climb. So my thoughts are I'm just going to make a, a like an A-frame out of the uh, thick pieces and I'll trim the ends off here because they're going to be too high um, especially with them being in a raised bed. So what I'm doing is crossing over there and I'll just get some wire, twist it together to hold the cross together and then I'll put um, two or three crossbars to join two or three air frames up along the bed if you know what I mean. Um, I'll show you that as we're going. So the idea is just to have three crosses like that uh, and then they'll have a, uh, another branch running across that direction to the next one and so on and then uh, another one about halfway up or maybe two more halfway up so we'll see where we're going so I think you can see the sort of idea I'm aiming for so this is the sort of idea that I'm doing um, just got to trim these ends off it wants another probably two rows of branches in there which I'm going to go and get on with um, and as you can see these middle bits just want trimming down a bit look a bit silly like that but uh, yeah we'll give them a trim and uh, we'll get on and do some more so just to give you an idea of how I'm doing this it's just a matter of putting the wire on crossing it over and then twisting it in I'll just have to put the camera down a second while I just get hold of it with the pliers so as I say I was just uh, twisting these wires up uh, to show you how I'm doing that one it's just a matter of getting hold of them make sure you've got the wires well crossed over and then just twist and they will tighten together so that'll make a nice tight joint there, it won't go anywhere. Just give it another one just for luck. What about just flattening the ends? Yeah, I'm going to go down and just trim the ends off a oh, little bit right, more okay. when I've got them all on. I was just going to say, my already rose is likely to get yeah. themselves caught on them. So, 
I'm either going to twist them in or flatten them down or yeah, yeah. cut them off depending on which way it seems to work best. Okay. Okay. So that's one side finished. It's very cold today but at least it's dry. And as we do when the goats are tethered out, we're always somewhere nearby. So today we are doing the trees. So as you can see, Steve's up the tree. He's uh, cutting the pear tree. So I've really left it a little bit late for doing this. Uh, leaves are starting to come out, but uh, when it was winter and we had no leaves on we didn't really know which branches were dead and which were live and what we could cut. And it was also too wet when it was time to do it. Well think, that's true as well. I think we can still do it now we're just really getting towards the end of the pruning season. Yeah. So we need to crack on. Um, I missed one over there. Oh. So the uh, farmer next door has just been down and told me I was doing my tree wrong. Um, he's helped me trim some of it and shown me how to do some of it. Uh, so yeah, we'll be trying that on another tree later. And this is how it looks now. Um, this, this is a pear tree and he's taken quite a lot off it. Uh, certainly a lot out the middle. And some of the height, which we were doing anyway, taking the height down. Um, but he's done it a lot better job than what I was doing. So, yeah, we'll uh, see if we can do similar on the other trees. So we've had our lesson from the farmer of how to um, prune a pear tree. So we're just having a go at the apple tree now. Oh, Oi, <laughs> Are you showing off, Mabel? And Annie's had fun today while well, we've been uh, trimming this apple tree. Annie's enjoyed eating the wood from it in the uh, woods, haven't you? It's all right, he's only taking the ladder down. So yep, yeah, so that's our second tree trim today. So we're going to go in now and get a coffee. So Alfie as you know is now 15 and he's been having some problems coughing. So he's now got to have inhalers. Um, Steve's very cleverly designed this mechanism with a recycled orange um, bottle. He's very crafty though, we have to make sure that he's breathing, which he is. Just see his chest moving. 
because he tends to hold his breath. I don't tend to like that one because it's um, oop. It's quite a hard spray. We're doing the best we can for him, but he's also got um, pancreas problems as well. And goodbye. He's not really standing on his legs. <laughs> Bless him. Oh, goodbye. What, you want a nose? You don't need it, Dotty. There you go. No, she wants a look, though. He's getting something. She isn't. Are you both getting bickets now for being good? Come for Bickets! Oh, he's got his phone. Are you going for Bickets, Alfie? <laughs> Daddy knows what Bickets are. <laughs> Little fatty there. Yeah, so they've gone for the biscuits with the dad now. So as you saw earlier in the video, um, we've been uh, pruning a lot of the big trees, the apple and pear. But apple and pear wood's really good for starting your barbecue and it's really good uh, flavour for your food. So most of this stuff, because, because the trees haven't been pruned for many years, a lot of it is just dead wood. So I'm taking off the smaller bits, just, they're just snapping off um, and we'll use them to start, about, start the barbecue. So I'm just going to fill this bin. Um, yeah, and then hopefully Steve will cut down some of the bigger bits um, and we'll use them for small logs on the barbecue as well. And while Debbie's doing that, I've uh, gone a bit mad on one of the olives and I'm just having a, a go at the other one now um, as you can see I've taken quite a lot off them and they were only small trees so um, but they do say cut them well back so that's what I've done and a lot of this olives what we're cutting down or some of the olives that they're cutting down um, the goats are eating And she's got a good little pile down here to eat for a while and Mabel's just a bit further down near Debbie uh, eating some more but don't really think they'll eat the way through the pile what I've got here so a little bit and then we'll uh, burn the rest so Steve's made a really good job of pruning these trees um, Turn quite a lot off. We probably won't get any olives this year, but at least they've had a really good prune. And the farmer next door who comes round and helps us, who showed us how to prune the pear tree, um, we've got his approval, so we can't have done too. Steve can't have done too bad a job. So we're just on to pruning our fourth olive tree. Uh, this is in the side garden. And we'll show you that when it's finished. So I'm just about to plant out this beautiful peony.
taking out quite a lot because I think I'm going to put a bit of compost in the bottom. Do you see some roots on this coming? I'm not sure if I'm burying that too low, so I'll just pop a little bit more soil in. Still lots of little stones in here. So there, you can just see it. just going to water it and uh, hopefully we'll get a nice painting next year. So this week I'm going to make an Easter tree. I know it's a little bit early but when our next video goes out after this one it'll already be Easter Sunday. Um, when I was a little girl I was brought up for most of my childhood in Germany um, and the Germans make the most wonderful um, Easter trees. So I'm just going to show you how I do my Easter tree. So the Germans use Forsythia bush, they cut the twigs off with the yellow flowers on and pop them in a vase. I've not seen any Forsythia here in uh, Portugal, central Portugal where we are. I've seen things that look similar but what I've decided to do is as we've been pruning the olives um, I've taken some of the smaller bits of the olive branches off and I'm going to have a go with that instead. So you just need things like uh, little baskets with chicks in. I've um, got a couple of these fluffy chickens. I have that from last year when Ellie Rose bought me my lily plant, I think that was in. And then I've got some chocolate eggs which everywhere does chocolate eggs at this time and I've threaded them so I'll just show you how I do that because these are solid eggs so if you just pop your needle in one side you will need something just to push it down on there we go pull it through and then depending on how long you want it So yeah, so and then, and then I've just tied it and that makes a loop like that. Um, it's going to be a bit difficult to get them over all the leaves because the twigs are quite thin on this whereas on Forsythia it's the twigs are much thicker. So I'm going to pop those on first and then show you how it looks. So I finally finished the tree. I didn't show you me doing it because it's quite time consuming, um, especially threading the eggs. So uh, yeah, just have a look and see what you think. I could add more to it. You could add more to yours. You can put anything really, at least a bunnies on or whatever you feel you want to put on.
going to make something really easy today and I know everybody knows how to do this but it's just um, when Ellie Rose was little we used to do these together and I think they're great to do with kids uh, the kids can do most of it themselves really um, I'm using a pan of hot water to melt the chocolate uh, these are the ingredients I'm going to use obviously cornflakes and some eggs um, but yeah Ellie Rose is all grown up now so I have to do it on my own because they still enjoy eating them but uh, yeah sadly she doesn't bake with me anymore if she bakes she bakes alone so I'm just going to melt the chocolate in here over hot water um, and then add the cornflakes and we'll carry on from there just one or two little lumps left shouldn't be too long now So I've only put a few conflicts in to start with so I'm going to put the chocolate in next and then we'll see add the corn add, add more cornflakes Bowl's quite hot, so it's hard to uh, handle. I think we can get more cornflakes in than that Do a few more, not many. that's probably about right I've only been able to get these eggs with the uh, foil on I've not been able to find any of the little sugar coated eggs you get in the UK and in Germany so uh, in, in Portugal I mean I've not been able to find them so I'm just gonna have to use these they are better if you can use the sugar coated ones
Oops, just missed that one. So I don't think we're going to get a dozen. I'm just going to get nine by the look of that. I think these are slightly bigger as well than the sugared ones. So there we are, something really simple, just going to leave those to set, um, as I say the kids could even do those themselves. I'm sure the big kids in this family will eat those in no time. So that's all for this week, thanks for watching, uh, please like and subscribe and don't forget the links below for Instagram and Facebook. Bye! Bye.